Well, thanks for hanging in there, gang, and uh, it's my great pleasure and honor to introduce you to Diana Mara Henry. Is that right? Yes. Thank you yes, very, sir. very much for coming in, ma'am. Nice to be here. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Good. Did you find us okay? Good. Yes. Yes, because yes. I know that you traveled in a little bit, and we really right. appreciate that. Awesome Where are you from? Awesome studio. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio, originally. You didn't come from Cincinnati, no, Ohio, to be no, on no, my no. show. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I live in Springfield. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful yeah. out there, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. It's a little bit of paradise. Yeah. People don't know about it. Um, I, I have you listed as an artist, but yeah. uh, you, uh, tell me a little bit about your craft. Photography. Mm -hmm. Photography. I started uh, when I was in college, mm -hmm. and um, that was right near here. went to Radcliffe, Harvard, mm -hmm. and uh, worked on the Harvard Crimson, and uh, so I learned by doing. Yeah. People, some people go for an MFA, especially now. But when I was starting out, people learn by by apprenticing, really. Mm -hmm. So I worked in a studio in New York too mm -hmm. later on, but found that photojournalism was really my thing. That's where I was getting at. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you're, yeah. You're, you're not you're, you're more than well. You're more than a photographer, I think, because what yeah. you're doing is you're, you're putting a picture together. Yeah. And there's a lot of political work that you do. Yes. I, I majored in government in college, uh -huh. and I, I carried that interest through and uh, photographed uh, the political um, campaigns, 1972, 1970, uh, and uh, then the women's movement in the 70s mm -hmm. and 80s. And that's my main body of work. Right. Is, is, um, and also, I've seen, I've seen some of your work. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's quite beautiful, and some of it's real as, as realism as can get. Yeah, yeah. Is black and white a, a medium that you pref that you use often? Uh, black and white was my preferred medium. Mm. That was really, um, that was it. But I also taught uh, color. I taught zebrachrome. I taught, oh, you teach as well. I taught at the International Center for Photography in mm -hmm. New York mm -hmm. for many years. And then I taught out in Carmel, California, where I also lived. Um, so. You've been a photographer for some, some years now. Yeah. And you, you, I, I love to ask photographers this question because it, it's so t it's so telling as far mm. as your equipment goes. Uh, have you have you come to the digital age? No, you haven't. No. Okay, you're still analog. The, the only way I'm in the digital age and I'm really into it up to my eyeballs is I um, I love the web, <laughs> and I love website design. So my website is now my creation. Okay. And uh, I have a wonderful webmaster who's uh, worked on my main website, but now I'm into the weblog and I'm into other parts of my website. Well, scanning your work so. in, you scan your work in there, yeah. you know. Yeah. But uh, I know that we've, we've uh, I'm, I'm not a photographer. Mm -hmm. I have a couple of cameras, you know, yeah. but that doesn't make me a photographer, you know. But I do right. go out and I, and I do take pictures and mm -hmm. I have a, an analog Canon. Is it analog? Yeah, well, I whatever <laughs> no I mean well digital is digital and yeah. I figure the opposite of that yeah. is I know they're gonna move uh, TV from analog to digital so <laughs> I don't Minus know how long the analogs gonna last I like my camera <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean well, there's, there seems to be an awful lot of the missing art of mm -hmm. the eye taking the can taking the picture all this auto this and auto that that, that yeah. seems to be coming out in some of the equipment nowadays well, when I taught photography I taught I called it into the dark room and I really think by working in a dark room yeah. that people can yeah. really work with light up close the enlarger after all is a big camera sure. and uh, sure. as as is a uh, a scanner mm -hmm. or a photocopy machine so whatever works for you a black and white film. It is. It. it, it I, I. I took some classes, and I know yeah. developing that with this stuff and all, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a little. It's a different te technique than doing color. It seems like it's a little yeah. more accessible to people. Yeah, black and white is is accessible because it's cheaper than color, but it's also less constraining. A mm -hmm. color, after all, we we have an idea of what's realistic, right? And you can only push it so far unless you, you know, deliberately want to um, to distort. But people are very aware of this is a distortion or this is realistic. Mm -hmm. And black and white, a lot of manipulation can go on and, and the viewer wouldn't necessarily know. Does that manipulation happen in the developing or does that help over in the, the printing? printing? In the printing. In the printing. Okay. Primarily. So you want yeah. to start with as, as basic as you can or as the clear best as negative possible. <laughs> possible. Yeah. 
because <laughs> once 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 you pass that, Absolutely. that's it, right? Yeah, yeah. Are you one of these photographers that carries a camera around with you all the time? Uh, now I carry a throwaway camera. You do just so you and can I grab have, this. Side. I have one all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I can only imagine yeah. that certain yeah. thing happen. But I really went out to photograph what I wanted to photograph. Really, do you find yeah. a subject and, and work on that? That was, I was, I, most of my work is self, it was self-assigned. Mm -hmm. So I went out, photographed it, and then brought it to the subject and said, you know, can you use this? And, mm -hmm. and I, then eventually I got the assignments that I really wanted. Really? Are you publishing yeah. with anybody now? I'm publishing on my website. <laughs> I am exhibiting. Welcome to the digital age. I am exhibiting, and a lot of people find my photographs on the web. So, for uh -huh. instance, the Museum of the Civil War in historic Tredegar, oh. Virginia, is going to have a huge panel, a photograph of mine from the uh, ERA uh, march in yeah, New yeah, York. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so you never know where something's going to pop up. This is the legacy of Abraham Lincoln that they want to portray. Sure. Do you find yourself migrating to, to, to events like that? Uh, well, that was my main, my main uh, subject matter in the 70s mm -hmm. was, was the women's movement. Good. Okay. Yeah. We've got some, some shots okay. that, you, that you've taken. And um, sure, I want to make sure that we, we, we take a couple you. seconds to go through. Um, <laughs> but we're going to keep it on this because I'm just going to flip through the pictures. I voted for him. Yep, and uh, so that I went up to New Hampshire and photographed McGovern on the uh, went up on the press bus, and then I became his New York City photographer. Oh, so good. this was in New York City. I might have been the only one to vote. <laughs> this is the Women's Pentagon action in Washington D.C. in uh, 1978. The women encircled the Pentagon. Much good it did us. This is at the World Trade Center. It's an avant-garde art festival, and. Uh, of course, the building's not there anymore. That's right. Yep. This is my most famous photograph. It's been published dozens of times of the entrance to the uh, First National Women's Conference in Houston, Texas, 1977. Bella Abs so leading say, the band. Bella up front, and there's yep. Billy Jean on the left. Billy Jean on the left, and Betty Friedan on the right. Yeah. Yep. Fabulous. Thank you. Now this is interesting, this is Bill Clinton. I didn't realize I'd photographed him in 1972 at the Democratic National Convention in Miami Beach and someone was looking for pictures of Shirley Chisholm and as she was looking through my <laughs> contact sheet, she said, that's Bill Clinton. I said, nah. <laughs> she said, yeah. So I don't know, you can see the signature yeah, at the bottom. Yeah, you get a little sign down there. This, this year, well when I found that out, I sent it to him and I said, will you sign it? And he signed Fabulous. it. Fabulous. I actually asked him to sign five of them, but he only signed one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. so let me get this straight. You were, you were trying to take a picture of Shirley Chisholm, Shirley Chisholm and you yeah. got a picture of Bill well, Clinton? Well, I was photographing uh, Hubert Humphrey, Ted Kennedy, oh, okay. Shirley Chisholm, uh, Senator McGovern. And none of those people became president, but this <laughs> young man in the crowd with his mouth open you know, obviously ecstatic about the process is the one who yeah. became president. Yeah. You never know. You just have to live long enough. Sure. <laughs> You're bound to take the picture of somebody. Yeah. Um, how active are you now? Um, do, you, do you get out as often as you'd like? Well, now, besides working on my website. <laughs> We're pushing that website. DianaMarHenry.com. <laughs> I, um, I have been for 20 years photographing, but mostly researching and writing about a concentration camp in eastern France. Are you writing a book? That no one knows about. I've, I've edited a book, The Memoirs of Andre Scheinman, who was a Jewish man, a spy for France and Britain. Mm -hmm. And uh, what he did to pull the wool over the Nazis' eyes is quite amazing. And you're writing and this book? I've well, he's written it. I edited it, and oh. it's ready to be published. And many other fascinating aspects of this. When camp. it comes out, can I invite you back to come and talk about I'd it? I'd love to talk about it. I mean, because that's not fascinating. It is. It is like the Scarlet Pimpernel revisited. <laughs> if anyone reads that anymore, a real uh, cloak and dagger kind of story, and. Uh, a, a a brave man and a generous man, and it shows what one person can do yeah, in sure a time does. of evil. Yeah. You know, the, Nazi, the Nazis claimed they were going to form a thousand-year Reich, and in 12 years it was gone. Yeah. And mostly, I think, because of not only the Allied armed armies, but also the resistance. The strength, so, right. Yeah. So we need to know about resistance. Diana, while well, I have one more second here, yeah. where, where can someone go to see your work besides your website? <laughs> 
Well, I'm on a variety of websites. Oh, the Jewish okay. Women's Archive has my photographs. <laughs> and, I love belittling uh, it at all. I'm mostly just... dianamarahenry.com and uh -huh. wherever and whoever wants to uh, put together a selection of mm -hmm. the work to exhibit it, it's available for exhibit. And also, I'm going to be selling books on demand. People can select images from my website, whichever ones they want, in their own unique book. Oh, really? That's yeah. neat. Oh, yeah. That's a neat idea. Yeah. So you have the book with the images that you want. <laughs> well, Diana Maz, Henry, thank, you. thank you very much for coming in. It was thank a pleasure you. having you. Enjoyed and I'm serious you very much. about I'm, I'm serious yeah. about coming back and, and, and talking, talking about, about Andre. Book, you know, yes. and it'd be it'd be a fascinating. Thank you. His son while. actually lives here in uh, West Roxbury. Oh wow. So maybe he maybe we can get him in here he too. That'd be fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Listen, we've thank got you. don't go away yet. We've got we've got one more guest coming up. I told you we were packed, and you're gonna really enjoy this because we're talking live music, and you know how I feel about that. So listen, we'll be back in just a couple of seconds. Do not go away. Thanks. Thanks again. Thank you. When I look into your eyes, I can see your mother's smile. I can see the moon and stars up in the sky. I can see beyond the blue. Thanks for hanging in there with us, gang. It's my great pleasure and honor to introduce you to Jason Fickle. Is that right? That is correct. Jason, how are you? Hey, nice to meet you. Welcome to Feeling the studio. Thank you. Did you find us okay? I sure did. You're a local guy, aren't you? Well, you know, I'm recently local. I just moved here from Indiana. Indiana? Where yes. are you? Bloomington, Indiana, okay. home of IU, Indiana <laughs> University. Uh-oh. <laughs> is that basketball or football? That is a basketball It power. certainly is. I'm telling you. Uh, what brings you to uh, the great city of Boston? Well, uh, my wife got a position here, cool. and uh, so I came out here to start doing music out here. You can too. do music here. You sure can. Oh man, I mean, there's plenty of opportunities and open mics and stuff. Tell yep. me a little bit about what, what you're doing. What kind of work are you working on? Uh, right now, I'm a solo singer, songwriter, acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. I um, went to school down in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. uh, I was. Uh, I grew up in Western Colorado, obsessed with blues music. Yeah, yeah. And then when it came time to go to college, I was all set to go to Boulder, great school in Colorado. But I went south instead to Mississippi uh -huh. and uh, got to know a lot of traditional musicians and uh, got to learn uh, really the craft from, from those guys. Really? Great. And then, um, and then so I've kind of kept that up, that kind of solo guitar type of playing sure. stuff. And then um, started writing songs. Uh -huh. And then, then they come out different, you know, because when sure. you go to write a song, as I'm sure you know, uh, you, th you don't know what's going to come out. Not if, you, not if you're a sit on the back porch, pluck away, try and see what comes out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, yeah. you know. Well, I, you know, I ask every songwriter, are you the kind of guy that, that, that can set aside some time during the day? I got nothing to do till 4 o'clock, I'm going to finish those songs, or or you like me, you have to be struck by lightning. I'm trying guy. to be the first guy, yeah, but I'm, I'm trying tough. to be that guy, <laughs> so but I'm much more like the second guy. Yeah, me too. Uh, I, I, and then when it, sits, when it hits me, then I have to sit there and... and All I, else I, goes I, away. It does, it does. <laughs> it's kind of nerve-wracking for family members and everything else, yeah. but, you know, when it hits you. Well, my wife has it. told me a dozen times, she goes, for crying out loud, you've played that song over and over and over. <laughs> so when it comes time to show her the finished product, she doesn't even want to hear it anymore. <laughs> right. Why do you get this thing away from me? You know? Right, yeah, I try to hide that process from my wife. <laughs> Good so when luck. we get to the good parts of the song, they sound new instead of burned yeah. out. You know? <laughs> um, where have you been playing around? I've been playing uh, places in Cambridge, yeah, uh, yeah. Can't Have Lounge. Great room. Yep, I love that. And Little Joe Cook's still over there? Uh, he is over there, and he hosts the... Uh, 
the Blues Jam nights, yeah. which is also fun. Yeah. Very fun. Yeah. And uh, I've been playing at this place called the Lizard Lounge. I know the Mass Lizard Ave. Lounge, yeah. And uh, the Burren up in uh, Davis Square. It's this Irish bar that has this really good open mic right now. Uh -huh. So I've got to meet some people. Is that what you, have you been doing open mics? I've started out doing open mics and it's been great. I've got to meet people yeah. uh, and start to play around. You getting some, some features? Yeah. Good. Yeah, exactly. Good. Good. I'm playing at the Zeitgeist Gallery. Yeah, that's another Vegas. nice place. Yeah, I love that. Well, you're place. naming all the good spots. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. It's Cambridge fun. has some really nice places to play. It does. It uh, does. We're lucky we have an we have a couple of open mics within like shouting distance of our house in Rosendale that go on different nights. So we're really fortunate to be able to do that in the local, you know, in, in the local Rosendale. It's a lot, a lot of fun. Yeah, that's great. Uh, how long have you been writing? I've been writing, well, probably as long as, almost as long as I've been playing guitar, really, mm -hmm. but uh, probably seriously last uh, 15 years. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a CD out. Is this your first CD? It's my third CD. Third. Congratulations. Thank you. Where do you do your recording? Uh, this last one was recorded in Bloomington at a home studio uh -huh. and then uh, brought to another studio um, for mixing and yeah. mastering. And uh, is it by, you by yourself? Or did you bring some other cats in? Uh, a lot of other, lot of other sounds on yeah. this guitar. Uh, some are just me by myself. Uh, some have.